Why do these text messages look and read like they're fake? Hey guys, this is Jules with True Crime Reactions. Now, most of you guys know that there's been some sort of issue between the Consolvis family and Howard Blum because of the airmail articles that he has been writing, but especially this last one. We went over that article. We've gone over the Gonsalves family's response to that, but they have now posted something on their Facebook page that is just kind of odd. And I want you guys to tell me what you guys think about it, okay? Especially those of you that knew about the Linda Lane situation. The ones who have been following along with the Linda Lane fiasco, they have also seen the way that the people involved in that situation speak and type to people and conversate with people, okay? So I'd like some compare and contrasting done in this situation. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, again, I do have videos on the Linda Lane thing. I have videos on pretty much everything that's happened in the Idaho case. And it just seems like every single day, as soon as I try to focus on another subject, another case, another whatever, even for my other channel that I've, I'm severely lacking on, something else happens in the Idaho case that gets my attention because of the ridiculousness of the entire thing. And this is one of those ridiculous things. Now, according to my time zone, about four hours ago on the Gonsalves family Facebook page, now this is the official page that the family runs several of them have access to it several of them post on it okay this is the official page four hours ago they posted this and this is regarding information that has to do with the howard blum article hello friends and family we long debated saying anything at all about recent events here especially because we really do try to maintain a positive and safe space but given how much support we have here, we felt we needed to ask you for your help. We recently were made aware of some messages claiming to have fabricated texts from Steve, as well as trying to incite others to spread lies. While we understand the internet is a big place and people are free to say whatever they would like, we personally feel a line was crossed and we would like to pursue further action. If anyone knows any more about these screenshots, knows who created them, what they said, etc., and would feel comfortable sharing with us, we would be extremely appreciative. Everyone has a right to their own opinion, but lives, careers, relationships, etc., can be ruined over maliciously spreading false information for no reason other than to be hateful. As always, thankful for you all and much love. I don't know which one of the family wrote this or if it was actually whoever is this private investigator that they have labeled on the page. I don't really know the situation with that. I learned during Linda Lane that there was a private investigator or a private investigator team that the family was working with at some point, but then that fell apart after this huge argument apparently happened between the two of them. So I don't really know if there's someone else helping them run the page or if this is really just the family running this page. Some of you might know that answer. If you guys do, please feel free to leave it in the comments as always. But this is the part that I want to look at because these text messages look like crap. These text messages look fake. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to assume this is coming from iPhone. Because this doesn't look like anything that I have on my Android phone. So I'm just going to assume this is iPhone. These have a contact name of Macy May, which that is a screen name that I have not heard of. That is a name that I have not heard of. I've heard so many names in this whole thing. And, you know, we go back again to the, the Linda Lane situation. But this is not one of them. I do not recall this one. Now, this is claiming... Oh my God, Steve G is denying talking to Blum and that's a distraction. Blum never said he spoke to him. He kept referring to messages he sent to others. I'm going to spread as many rumors about Steve G as I can. Will you help me? Is that really how people just enlist idiots talking like that? And this whole thing right here is beyond confusing because if Steve G 
is the one who's denying talking to Blum, which that's obviously what's happening here. And Blum never said he spoke to him, which, yes, I mentioned that in my video, that if you look at the actual article, it never mentions once that Airmail or Howard have actually spoken straight to the Consolvis family. It actually states that it's been refused. So I don't understand how Steve denying talking to him is a distraction if it's the truth. That doesn't make any actual sense whatsoever. So I don't know why this person would then be choosing to state they're going to start spreading rumors about Steve Consolvis because he's telling the truth about not speaking to Howard. I I'm confused. Then it says, no, why would I help someone spread rumors about a victim's family? Which is, of course, you know, the correct answer to give. But all of this sounds staged. This entire thing and the next one I'm going to show you sounds fake like these are not real conversations and then we have this thing right here i don't know if this is something that this person is replying to because again i don't know exactly like what's going on but this looks like it could be something edited in or this is them replying straight to this comment and it states we made a bunch of fake screenshots pretending they were from steve and sent them to that genius blum who helped spread blah 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 okay but if that was the case and blum really thought that those messages were from steve he wouldn't have been sitting there claiming that he never talked to the family and a lot of people can say whatever they want about howard you know the writer but he's been writing and doing this for a super long time and he's apparently really kind of a respected writer in this aspect and i don't know if someone who's as high up in his career as he is would sit there and try to claim that all of this is true information from text messages that he apparently received and the person not like vet where those messages were coming from as a reporter that's what you're supposed to do that's your number one thing that you're supposed to do is vet the information that you're getting so I highly doubt that if he was getting messages from who he thought was Steve, he wouldn't have done his due diligence to make sure they were coming from Steve before then spreading that information. So again, this is a very confusing, confusing conversation. And then it states, we need to shut him down. We made a bunch of, okay, so this is another thing that really confused me because this is up here. Like it would have been before these messages. But if this is coming after this part, then how are they replying to this part up here? Like it almost looks like the conversation is running the opposite direction, if that makes any sense. But it says, we made a bunch of fake screenshots pretending they were from Steve and sent them to that genius Blum who helped spread our agenda. And that's another thing that makes me question the validity of these text messages because who says that help spread our agenda here in the true crime community i usually hear the word narrative like a narrative is being pushed they're pushing their own narrative you don't really normally hear the word agenda unless it's government based right at least that's kind of how i've always noticed it in true crime it's narrative in politics and world stuff it's agenda so that's another reason I'm like, this just seems not real. So I don't know if the family thinks that these messages are actually legit or what, because again, they're not claiming like where any of this came from. They're not giving any more information. They're just like, here's these messages. Let us know if you have any information. Okay. That is so wrong. Why are you doing this? And then left on delivered and nobody answered anything. I don't know exactly what this is supposed to be showing. I I'm assuming that the family wants information on who wrote all of this, where this conversation is coming from, but they're not saying where they got it from themselves. Nothing. And again, if this is seriously the situation, if, if the family is going to sit here and think that Howard Blum is claiming to have written all of this stuff based off of fake text messages, then maybe it's time that they go ahead and say, yeah, bro, let's sit down and have a discussion and have all of the lawyers present. Because 
this goes back to Linda Lane. This goes back to the TikTokers who were sitting there claiming that they were working for Steve Gonsalves, who were sitting there claiming that he was part of the Linda Lane leak. That goes back to all of this. It goes back to all of it. And like I mentioned in the video before, there was already talks back then that the TikTokers that were involved in this were talking to Howard Blum and he was paying them for information. And again, that's nothing that was verified. That's not verified whatsoever. But now we have a full circle situation here. That's a problem. There's obviously more going on in the background of all of this than they want us to believe, which means that all of this extra crap that we've all been talking about over the last couple of months, it mustn't not all be lies because we wouldn't be here right now. Again, we would not be here full circle if the stuff that we've been talking about happening in the background isn't really happening. So I don't know who's deciding to do all of this. I don't know who's deciding to do with these fake messages. And I don't know what kind of human like gets their rocks off to doing just more disgusting things to a family that's already going through a bunch of disgusting things like this is just more of that extra drama that's not needed these situations are tragic enough as it is and now we have this but that's if these text messages are real because guys look how these are written look how confusing this conversation is it's not making any sense again from what we're reading how is how is Steve Gonsalves denying talking to Howard Blum a distraction if it's true because whoever this person is, is the one who sent a bunch of screenshots to Blum as if it was from Steve. Like this person is basically taking responsibility for a situation, but then claiming that the person who's actually innocent of being involved is lying as a distraction by claiming that they're not actually involved. Am I like following that correctly? I have like a headache now trying to figure out exactly what this is actually trying to state. And I think that's what it is. But this is just more of that completely unnecessary drama again that we don't need. And that's my opinion on it, you guys. I want to know yours. Leave it in the comments. See y'all.